Hi people, welcome to this Texas Garden channel. Uh, I was right here in the garden spraying things uh, with my faithful uh, uh, pump sprayer right here. With Mose right here. Hey, say hi Mose. And so I was taking a look at some, uh, some, some of the plants that we have and I totally forgot about this guy right here and I wanted to share. Move your fat self over there please. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> yeah, you're cute, whatever. So, this celery right here, this celery right here, I remember that I, that I, that we used like uh, past December, we're, we're in March right now, but past December at some point we bought a celery, celery stock at the grocery store and we used it and uh, we ended up with this and I came in and I put it right here in this uh, in this pot this pot and I just put it right there and totally forgot about it till uh, till like a couple of days ago I passed by and said oh look at that that thing actually rooted and uh, grew <laughs> grew uh, one more celery out of it and so and I was gonna be in I was like hey uh, Hey, maybe some people don't know about this, but uh, uh, yeah, you can do that with celery actually. You use your celery that you bought at a grocery store. You plant, you plant it right there. You don't, you don't even need to dig a hole or whatever. You just put it right, just like that. <laughs> and the thing is gonna grow roots, and uh, it's gonna grow you one more celery out of it. You see, th those dogs are decent. I mean, as you may know, uh, organic stuff are more are way much smaller than the things that that we get uh, at the grocery store, which are grown with you know with all the herbicides and all the uh, strong, really really strong uh, fertilizers in the world and hormones and whatnot. So I think this is this is what a natural celery looks like, I guess. And the flavor, yeah, it's a little better actually. Yesterday I tried it. I tried it and it's so freaking juicy like god damn like, mm, very juicy La, and as you guys know on um, yeah celery is not candy it doesn't taste too good till you mix it up but well, some well some people might like it but honestly I don't like to eat it raw like some people do uh, to each their own but uh, I love it when we add it to soups and, and uh, stews and whatnot then I like it uh, oh, and some stir fry, yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to share uh, that with you guys. You can you can do that uh, to stretch that dollar out of uh, some products that we buy at the grocery store, and we get more product out of that product. And after we use it, uh, you can do that actually with some other things. You can uh, use it with onions. You do the same you take an onion for example and you and you cut off the part that has the that has the fuzzy end that has the like the little hair those actually are uh, dry out uh, dry out roots and you place it just like that um, on some soil and it's, go, it's gonna grow another uh, another onion and whatnot you can do it uh, with um, with uh, with lettuce, yeah, you can do it with lettuce. You can grow more uh, more lettuce out of the lettuce end. Uh, you put the end on soil. That end is gonna grow some roots, and you're gonna end up with a uh, uh, some more lettuce. Maybe not not as big as the one that you just bought, but it's gonna be some lettuce, nevertheless. Uh, you can do it with a uh, cabbage at some point. Uh, you end up with a, a small with, with one or two more smaller cabbages out of that end and uh, we, you can do it with carrots but the difference with carrots is that those carrots those carrots ends that you put in the soil those carrots are gonna grow some greens they're gonna grow some leaves but uh, but uh, after you dig them out like two three three months later uh, that end is not gonna give you a carrot like a carrot a carrot ready to use and cook no uh, the only thing that end is going to be good for is for growing leaves and seeds. It's going to grow some, uh, it's gonna, it's, uh, that end is going to grow some leaves 
uh, it's gonna grow a stem with flowers and those flowers will uh, will give you a lot of seeds and there you have a free carrot seeds for you to plant all uh, whatever you want and those seeds are gonna give you uh, well the carrots that that uh, we love to use for cooking and whatnot well uh, well guys I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, how to how we can uh, stretch that dollar uh, on, on, on some uh, produce that we get from the grocery store so we don't have to uh, keep buying them over and over and over and over again uh, in times like this I think that might come in handy I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, please like the video if you uh, find it interesting you learned anything about it uh, um, or you just like most over there uh, just uh, give us a like share the video uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel it's gonna help us grow and uh, we, and, uh, and and we'll keep posting uh, more stuff that have have work for us in the garden and some things that we discover on our own and eventually for sure we'll uh, I'm gonna share with you guys so so you got so you guys can apply it in your garden as well well guys uh, God bless you guys. See you next time.